Paul's a thrifty southerner. Back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope you all had a great couple of weeks. We had a super relaxing 10 days in Florida with my mom and stepdad, and it was awesome. We didn't do much at all, but just relax and take naps and swim. So uh, I did do a little bit of thrifting, and I also did some Facebook Marketplace while I was there. I, I bought a couple of items off there. So I'll show you all of that. If you like these kind of videos and you are not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Please, you guys, if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. It helps me in my analytics. And also, be sure to hit the notification bell because, and even if you do, you may not get no my notifications. But uh, that's your best chance. And the more you interact, the more I'll show up in your feed too. So, thumbs up, comments, all that. All right. Before I get started, if you're interested in any of, the, any of the items I'm selling, you can join my Facebook group. I will link that in the description box below. It is a closed group. You will have to ask to join and then I will approve you. Because if you're not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will also leave my email in the description box below. I'm going to go kind of fast to you guys because I had to turn the AC off and it is boiling in Louisiana. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to start with the things I got for myself and or my family. All right, so first off, I got this Dale of Norway cap. I got it at a garage sale in Florida. So when we went to Norway, this stuff was everywhere and so expensive. So this uh, retailed for, I think, about $70, and I got it for a dollar. So I'm super excited about that for winter time. It looks like probably they went to Norway and it was cold. And so they bought, she bought this and like wore it one time and then never used it again because she lives in Florida. So that was awesome. Um, I also got a scarf, a Norwegian scarf that was brand new with the tag and it had Norwegian print on it. I don't know what I did with that. Uh, but anyway, I also got that for a dollar. Okay, let's see. These guys have been floating around in my car for a while and I cleaned my car out and found them. So I got, these were not gotten today or this week, but I, I, I don't, if I've told you guys in the past, I really like stud earrings. I don't like to wear very large danglies. It's just not, I have a lot, but I just don't end up wearing them. So these are just little blue stones, nothing fancy. And then these guys are copper. I have a lot of copper jewelry, a copper bracelet, and a couple of copper rings, and I did not have any copper earrings. So I thought those were really cute. These have been in my car for a really long time. And they were like $1.15 at a thrift store. So that's those. Let me show you what I got on OfferUp. No, no. Facebook Marketplace. If you guys are not familiar with Laramar, it's a blue stone that mimics the ocean. It, um, I believe it mainly comes from Jamaica area. I could be wrong about that. It's a Caribbean, it's a Caribbean stone. It comes from one of the Caribbean islands. I can't remember which one. Anyway, that's I think the only place in the world that it's mine. And it's really, really pretty. And it's really funny because my mom and I went to a, an outdoor flea market and they had a lot of Laramar for sale, and I was telling her how I thought Laramar was really pretty, but I didn't want to spend any money because I rarely wear jewelry. You know, I get it, I amass it, and then I wear the same things. I have started branching out a little bit and wearing some of my rings and, and bracelets. Um, but uh, I wasn't willing to pay those prices. And I, I, every time I'm there, I get on Facebook Marketplace just to see what people have for sale. Last year, I bought some really beautiful turquoise and coral Navajo jewelry. Anyway, y'all didn't know you signed up for story time, did you? Anyway, so this lady had three pieces of Laramar for sale at a very reasonable price. So let me show you what I'm keeping. And then there's a piece that I will be selling. There were two pendants and a necklace. I mean, two pendants and a ring. So this did not come with the chain. My mom was sweet enough to give me this sterling chain. That's very long. It's a serpentine. But anyway, here's the first Laramar piece. I don't know be able to see the striations in it. It's a really pretty stone. This is sterling, so I'm keeping this. And I'm, let me see if I put it on my hand to fiddle. I'm also keeping the ring. Sterling silver, so I'm keeping those. And then I found, so I'm born in August. Peridot is my birthstone. And I found this really pretty Peridot bracelet. Can you see it? It's sterling. And I actually have a Peridot cross that is very similar to this and it's made with these little round guys. So that's awesome. Okay, nextly, I have 
can finally tell you guys because it's a done deal. We have purchased three and a third acres and we are putting a small cottage on it. We're continuing to live the small life. It's going to be 880 square feet. We are going to have chickens. We are going to have an enormous garden. So I guess you could call it a homestead. I don't know if we'll end up raising livestock or anything like that, but um, through living in this small camper or, or this fifth wheel, we, we've discovered that we really like living in the country and we want to have a home base because my daughter's really interested in jujitsu. She's involved in homeschool groups and um, it's hard for us to leave for long periods of time. So we want the home base and then we want to be able to travel. And that's why I don't know if we'll have livestock. Chickens are easy to leave with feeders and stuff. But anyway, we, the land is purchased, the home is purchased. Um, so now I can tell you guys about it. So let me know if you want me to show you more of that. If you, you wanna see the land, you wanna see the process of everything that we're doing. If you're interested in that, give it a thumbs up or comment and let me know and I can film some videos on that because we're super duper excited. So we will sell this bigger fifth wheel and we're actually gonna sell our older small fifth wheel and get a small newer camper that we can travel in. So we are super excited. That being said, I did buy a few items. So I've decided that I am no longer keeping things just because they were giving to, given to me or they serve a purpose. I got rid of tons of stuff and I'm only bringing things back into my home that truly bring me joy. Okay, so that being said, again, this uh, silver plated tray I found at a Goodwill in Florida and I just think it's so beautiful. I love it. I think it would be beautiful on a bathroom sink you know on the counter it was only a dollar 18 and then I also got some serving items because I got rid of most of my serving spoons and stuff and they were all hand-me-downs anyway they weren't anything that again excited me or brought me joy and I think that silver plated stuff is so beautiful so this is just a plain spoon one a dollar 18 and then these are cool these little and one of the few serving things that I did keep was a two-piece silver Italian silver set that I bought and showed you guys in a haul gosh I don't know two years ago so that's that and then these are very unique I thought and cool so you could get out you could do a lot with these as a serving item and these were all about yeah like these are a dollar ninety-eight so I'm sure the same person donated all of these. And so I was crazy excited about that. And then these you guys might think are kind of weird. My husband was like, okay, we're putting those in our house. And I was like, yeah, we are. Because they bring me joy. And he loves me. And so he said, okay. Uh, these are Victorian miniature portraits painted on glass from Italy. And I just think they're so cool. Okay, so I got... They were a dollar a piece at a church garage sale that I went to before I left for Florida. Here's the one. Here's one. And like I said, these are Victorian era. Here's a second one. Frames are wood. Look at the back side. Let me show you the back side of one. Aren't they cool? I think they're super cool. So, crazy excited about that. They've got actually got numbers on them, 1507. I don't know how to find out more information on them, 1507, so that, that showed that they all went together, I guess. And I tried to look up, so they all have different, this one says Fari, this one says Beanie, I think, B I N I. This one says feel or seal. And this one says Borlo. And I tried to look those names up to see if they were like Italian sayings or words, or I couldn't find any information. So, anyway, that's that. Before I show you guys the stuff that I am selling, I want to show you my sister. 
wants me to sell this item for her. So before I list it on Poshmark, I wanted to show it to you guys, or them to you guys. So my sister bought these. They were sold out of her size. So I think she bought a half size bigger, or no, let's see. I don't remember. Anyway, these don't fit her. They were sold out in her size. And so I think she, I think she was an eight and a half and they were sold out. And so she bought an eight and it was too small. She'll probably correct me in the comments. But anyway, they've never been worn. I tried them on. Unfortunately, they were just a little bit too small for me. Sometimes I can wear different sizes. They are coach and they are gorgeous. Okay, so they're brand new. And they even sent them in the wrong size box. Like it says seven on here. So weird. They're Luca leather sandals. And she purchased these directly from coach. So they are gorgeous. They have never been worn. These retail for a lot of money. So let me know if you're interested in these. She realizes she's not going to get back a lot of her money, but she didn't keep the receipt, and so she could not send them back. <sighs> so they're beautiful, and I really wish they fit me. So if you're interested in these, contact me, and we will discuss uh, a price that we both think is fair for these because they are brand Banking new. And the last time we checked, they were still sold out in her size. So they're hard to come by in certain sizes. So let me show you again. This is the wrong box size, but that's what they sent her. It's a seven and it, she wears an eight. That's so weird. Uh, but that's that. So let me know if you're interested. All right, let's get to the other things that I found. It's a little different. My camera fell. It usually does that at least once. Okay, let's start with the jewelry because I've already told you about the Laramar. This is a gorgeous piece. It is very large. And so that's why I'm selling it because I thought it would be the more desirable of the two pieces for someone to purchase. It's gorgeous. So this is... There's your bail. Look at the striations in that. Come on. It's stunning and it hangs like that. So pretty. Marked, of course, 925 on the back. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but right there at the bottom it says 925. So that is that. And then I found this really pretty piece that I was going to keep, and then I was like. Once again, <laughs> you don't wear stuff. So, I don't know. I still might keep it if no one's interested in purchasing it. This is what I believe to be rutilated quartz in here. And it looks like it was handmade. So, it could be gold. So, it's got a gold tone, copper, and sterling. It is not marked, but I'm 100% sure that this is sterling silver. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it could be, could be gold. But someone handmade this, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. But you've got rutilated quartz here and rutilated quartz here. This is silver. This is copper. This is gold. It's really unique and very, very pretty. I'm trying to get it where maybe it'll show you. this stone looks like. But if you don't know what rutilated quartz looks like, look it up. It's like a clear stone and then it's got like striations in it. So anyway, that's the two pieces of jewelry I'm selling. Got this loopy at a garage sale. Um, she said that it fits S6, S7, and uh, not S, iPhone 6, 7, and 8 plus. It's not as big as my Note, though, but I think it is bigger than a regular iPhone. So that's what she said when I bought it, and I looked it up, and based on the size of this guy, they're all a little bit different. That's what I think it is, too. So there's a Loopy. They are awesome. I have a Loopy case. This is the one I use for my phone, and they are amazing. I have to take it off when I film, but they are great. I ordered this one off Poshmark because I'm cheap, so it came... It was totally black, and so I put some stickers on it. But, um, you know, Thrifty Southerner doesn't pay full price or anything. So, uh, anyway, that's that. It's really pretty. It's like a black and white marble. 
moving right along. Got this at a garage sale. Thought about using it, and then I was like, no, I'll try to sell it. Because it's still in the box and everything, and some people are Starbucks collectors. So this is Starbucks, and it is a, not a mug, it's one of those, like, coffee cups. It says Starbucks on it, and it's also got, oh, that's weird. It's got, like, a round part where it should have, or I guess where they normally would put the Starbucks logo. It feels strange. There's only, there's printing, so that's interesting. I guess they just use the same cups. But you can feel it right there. Can you guys see where it's raised in a circle? That's got to be what that's for. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's still got the tag on it. It's brand new, so that's that. And it's got the little removable top with the, uh, what do you call those with the rubber seal? Most of the purse and wallet items I have are vintage. This one's not vintage, but it is an older style. It actually goes to a purse that I sold a couple of years ago. Does come with a coach bag. So there's your little coach bag. And here is the beautiful snake skin snake skin. I don't think it's a real snake skin. It is real leather. See the coach logo. Very pretty. It is a smaller wallet, so it's not going to be big enough to hold a checkbook or anything like that. Not that I think I'm probably the only person under 50 that still carries a checkbook, but anyway, I do. It's got a gusseted pocket here, zip pocket. Okay, so, condition. It's in really good condition. There are some worn areas, so they're really hard to see. Can you see that right there? It's a little bit worn. And then some places on the edges are, see right there? A little worn, a little bit right there. Other than that, to me, it looks good. It's really hard to tell what's worn and what's just the pattern. But yeah, I think that's worn. So it's really, really unnoticeable because of the different patterns in the snake skin. This is like hardly even noticeable. So that is that. This is going to be a long video, guys. Sorry. Next thing, I found this beautiful vintage, I think. Um, I would consider it like a doctor bag-ish type purse. This is Brooks Brothers. Croc embossed. It does have some scrapes. I've conditioned it, but it does have some scrapes. This is, that's the back side, so. I'll show you the front. It's got the Brooks Brothers little flying pig symbol here or the pig with the ribbon so it might not be super old because I don't know how long that's been their logo but um, so here's the front there are a few scrapes on the front you know it is an older bag there's somewhere to the leather in some areas it could probably stand to be conditioned again but it's still got so much life left in it see it's got a little bit of Zipper, here's the inside. Handles are in good condition. Really cool. So that is that. And the straps are long enough that you can wear it as a shoulder bag, which is awesome. Oh, I missed an item that wasn't a purse, but I'll show you at the end. Okay, nextly. You guys should be so, you guys should be so proud of me. I actually wrote down the styles of these because I knew I would forget. So this one is the Vintage Taylor, okay? Style is the Taylor. I did condition this as well. If you feel like this black has faded some, black shoe polish will 
totally take care of that. I just don't have any. It snaps here. It snaps back down. Same on this side. And everything is in good condition. So that was an awesome find. There's your front pocket. There's a little dirt in there. And here's the inside. And then I found another vintage coach. This is the Waverly Soho bag, okay? The Waverly Soho, it still has its tag. The other one did not still have its tag. But I was told you can get these free. I don't know, I haven't ever tried it by a contacting coach, but I, I can't verify if that is true or not. So, put a little stuffing in this. Try to see if you guys can see the shape of it. It's got a long, long handles, buckle on opposite sides, so just on the one, one side on each side. And it's sort of like a little um, tote. So it does have some issues. I have conditioned it, but it does have some scratches. I can condition it again before I send it out if anyone's interested, but it does have you know, some wear. I mean, it's a vintage purse. Someone used it. This side's not as scratched up. So, and the scratches aren't bad. They're just there. I mean, you know, again. It's a vintage bag. There's a little scrape right here. So... Side. All right, so that was those. And then lastly, and I can attest that these are awesome because I actually found two of these and I gave my husband one and he's loved it and we have compared it to my Fitbit and it's very accurate. Okay, so this is a Misfit Ray. This one is new. His was his was used, the only uh, thing, the reason that this is open is because he actually took uh, the little button batteries out of this one and then we ordered replacement batteries and put the batteries back in here because you, you have to order these little batteries. You can't, well, we couldn't find them. Uh, I don't know if you could find them at Walmart or what, but close to where we were. Um, so that's the only reason this guy's open and see he's, he's ordered and he just got in batteries which we will replace these three button batteries right here. Super cool. Can be worn by a man or a woman. This can also be detached and if this can be put on a uh, necklace. In fact, I think that's what he's about to do because he's a chiropractor and he said he was having trouble wearing this while he was adjusting people. So he may try wearing that under his shirt and see how accurate that is. But these are awesome. Obviously, they don't have a screen, so you cannot tell. Uh, you have to look at the app to tell how many steps you've had or whatever. But he uh, he said it vibrates when his phone rings. Um, yeah, you don't have to charge it. It does your steps, your distance, your calories. It's water resistant. And he said that it vibrates when his phone rings. So I don't know what other things you can do with it. Okay. Text notification, call notification, wake up alarm, and a movement rev reminder with vibration. So I think this is really cool for someone who does not want to do just the run of the mill, you know, fit watch, which he did not because he likes to wear his regular watches and he didn't want a fit watch. And so he has really been happy with this. So, all right, you guys, that was my haul. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section or on my Facebook group. Please remember when you are asking about an item to tell me what state you live in so that I can give you the price of the item with the shipping cost. The first person to give me their email address will get that item. Okay, if they don't pay in an hour, it'll go to the next person. All right, you guys. So glad to see you again. Let me know if you want to know more about the house land situation. And uh, if not, that's fine. 
what else, what else, what else? I guess that's it. Until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.